What's going on guys? This is Fritz and this is something kind of cool. It's a 2D intro tutorial slash template, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is how to make them, like the basics of it. Um, there is a lot more advanced stuff you can get into. This is just the absolute core basics of it using a couple of simple effects. Um, one effect though that you should get is 3D Stroke from Trap Code. Uh, it's not that hard to get. Um, you get that, that's, that's good for like, you know, basic shapes and it's really easy to do it that way. Um, this is what kind of like what we'll be learning actually let me turn off of this uh, That thing there we go So you can see here we got a circle that comes in and it's all gonna be a lot faster I just have it kind of going slow right now and you can see here then it goes around and it's like oh green We're good calling the trucks um, Let's go pick up the text and we're gonna drop down and then shoot up with your name in the nice shade of blue with a triangle behind it because we are stylish and then it's just gonna wipe out and then start so it's really, really easy. I'm going to show you exactly how I made that. Um, and then hopefully, you know, you can use these just to kind of spark your ideas. This only took me about 10 minutes to make. Uh, not even. It was pretty straightforward. So we're just going to get rid of everything and just hit make a new composition. So we're going to go new composition at the top. Um, for the background, we're going to make it like a white, but like an offset white. So right around there, almost like a gray, like a light gray. There we go. So, we're good. Now we're going to jump into this. So we're going to right click, new, solid. We're going to name this BG, and we're going to make the color kind of whatever you want. And just go right there for now. There we go. So one thing that you should do to make your backgrounds look a little nicer is to add in something called a ramp. And it's under the generate tab. Just We'll put it under here. And you can see here we got this like shade of black up here. Well, we're going to change the top color where it says start, click, drag it up to white. Then the end color, kind of offset it a little bit so you can see there it's reversed. We'll put it right around, maybe even a tint of blue, maybe, maybe, I don't know, you never know, right there. And then it kind of goes later to darkness, just a lot more appealing to your eye. You can switch it around too if you want, so like, just reverse like that. We'll stick with that one for now. So that's the basic ramp, kind of cool. Next thing you need to do is right click down below, hit new, and then adjustment layer. And we're going to rename the adjustment there to VB because I don't know how to spell Venetian in V E N. No, it starts like that. Venetian blind, we're going to throw it on there and uh, change this transition to cl complete to like six, I guess. And it kind of adds like lines there. Or maybe we'll go a little higher. We'll go 12. Now nah, we're going to go six. Um, change the direction to 45. Change the width to two and the feather to 12 and you there it's hard to see but if i do turn it off there is a difference uh, we might make it a little bit more noticeable like this there we go that's, it's kind of more noticeable this way if i go down a little bit and just mess with that it kind of adds like a cool little background effect you can sort of see it down there i don't know how well this thing picks it up but it adds a little bit of oomph to the background which is always good it's always good to have some oomph so that's the background and we're just going to build off of there. So first thing you saw me do in this one here was a circle grew out of the middle and just stopped growing. So before we get to like that white thing, just a plain old circle. Really easy to do. Right click, hit new, hit solid object. You can do shape, but we'll just do solid object. Whatever color works, I'll show you how to change that. We're going to search up circle. This is easy as this. Throw it on there and we've got a circle. So now also what you can do is look up fill which is another effect and that's how to change the color so there we go now it's red we can just click here and we'll make it like a nice darker shade so right there works so now we're going to keyframe the circle so it grows in so we go up to where it says radius we're going to bring it down to zero keyframe go over like a second maybe not quite a second like half a second and bring it up to par so right there and if we do a ram preview you can see we've got a circle that grows and that's the first step just like that, and there's our circle, grew. And next thing you saw was the little whoosh thing around and then it changed color. Um, that's pretty easy too. So as soon as it's fully grown, right, hit view right there, it's fully grown. Right click, new, solid object. Again, doesn't matter what color. This time search up 3D stroke. If you don't already have it, go get it. It's a trap code effect. Um, we'll just throw it on there and if you don't have it you can still work with the circles and stuff but there we go we got our stroke on we're gonna change it up here where it says preset to basic circle and you see we got a circle here now what we can do is hit S on our keyboard we'll just scale it down a little bit 
so that way it fits the whole circle so now a little bit of animating what you want to do is make your start go all the way up to 100 and down and that way we'll just keyframe the start that didn't make sense there we go just see there how it kind of like scrolls so you can just hit r on your keyboard you can rotate it whatever way you want so if i wrote it to 180 what let's say comes in from the other side or if i go to 270 it'll come in so there we go um then we'll just keyframe the start so it goes all the way around so bring it up to 100 for start and end so we can't see it just keyframe the start you don't have to keyframe the end go over like another half of a second bring it down to zero and then you'll see if we do a ram preview and watch there's the circle and then there is the thing surrounding it so now one thing you saw me do was I changed the color of the circle the minute it hits. So what we want to do is go to right the frame before it hits. So right there, you can see this little break. Go back to our circle, which is right here, which we should have renamed to circle. So circle. And what we want to do is keyframe the, uh, go to fill and keyframe the color. Go over the, to the one frame where the full white thing is complete there and we'll change the color to like green so we will go over to green there we go so now if you watch it it's like good good and then boom the minute it hits it gets green kind of like a green light like let's go so we're going to rename this one too so this one will be stroke around I guess I don't know it doesn't really matter so that's it so there you go that's the beginning of it pretty straightforward it's only four layers a little bit of keyframing and then we'll jump over see what else we did so we had it green and then it zoomed out so this was pretty easy too so um this is just a matter of scaling so we're going to open up scale by hit s on our keyboard on both of these layers and right around here is when we will shrink it we'll keyframe this scale on both of them then we will go over like half a second and bring them both down to zero and then they will both go down at the same time and it looks nice and there we go so that was that then that's the basic intro for something and then that's kind of like the little artsy thing and then we'll just shoot up with the text and pretty much the same idea as the other circle um, we are going to make a new solid of course because that's what we need to do new solid and we'll name it circle 2 there we go and find circle under the effects and presets tab which is right here throw it on there you can change the color right now if we want. We'll make it like a bluish tint, sort of like in the other version. Right. Screw it. Right there works. And we are going to make the radius down to zero. Or actually, no, we're going to leave it up to where we want it. So we want it to be nice and big for this one. So right around there looks good. Now we're going to add the text because we kind of need to do this stuff first. So just take text, click, and we will name it like because that's what I want you to do the video and we will just kind of throw it on nope not the circle that's not what I signed up for there we go now we'll move the text just so it'll fit in the circle so just kind of mess with it like that for now there we go now it fits right in the circle um, great so now one thing you do want to do with the text otherwise the scaling doesn't work is you're gonna want to hit the arrow down go to the transform tab and move the anchor point to more up in the middle of it so you can see here but the anchor point is it's that little uh, thing like right there that's what all the effects are moved off so we want that to be as close to the middle of the text as we can so the scaling looks good and then we'll just kind of mess with it from there so we got that set we have that looking just like we want it to we'll go uh, hit keyframe on scale on the text as well as on the circle so scale then we'll just hit you here and you here there we go now we got our thing we'll go over a little bit more as to like here another half a second keyframe both of the scales again and then go back to the first keyframe and put them all down to zero so not that there you go zero and zero and that way if we watch it, it comes up at the same time and it looks really nice so there you go green goes in blue comes out and that's basic of it and then the last thing was there the triangle coming up same thing um, as the stroke we did over here it's the same effect so new solid object this time we'll name it triangle okay 3d stroke where did we see the 3d stroke 3d stroke there we go throw it on there change our preset to triangle and there we go there's our triangle we'll move it up a little bit as a matter of fact 
so it kind of fits in the circle we'll put it behind and below our circle on there so we'll just click here on the layer drag it down there we go scale because we'll make it come in after the circle does so we'll keyframe scale right now at zero there we go then we'll move over a little bit and just kind of move it to roughly about the size we want it to so right around there looks good and then that way the circle will come in triangle will come in after and then the last part in this whole shenanigans was the stroke and that's the thing that ends it or not stroke the linear wipe and that's what just slides the thing to black so you can start whatever you're working on right click new solid object click on this little triangle thingy or rectangle thing down here make it a solid black hit ok now we're gonna look up linear wipe in our effects and presets tab there we go it's right here and we're gonna make the transition complete go up to 100 uh, we'll go to when we want it to end so right here keyframe transition completion go over and then bring it down to zero and that closes it off that's it that's the whole intro uh, simple 2d intro all by yourself while you're watching the video so it's kind of cool um, the project file that I used for this one here is in the description if you're interested um, kind of look at it figure out what I did uh, it's pretty pretty easy hope you guys enjoyed click like because it's kind of a different tutorial I'm not seeing too many like this before and hopefully you guys come up with your own kind of good little 2D intro. So uh, I'm Fritz. I am out. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I am a ginger and it's going to help me cure my gingivitis. All right. See you. Bye.